So good afternoon and happy Memorial Day. My name is Roland Bessonat, Park Ranger at Calpens National Battlefield. Thank you for joining me in our tactile map room located in the visitor center as we pay a tribute to the officers and crew of the World War II light aircraft carrier named after this pivotal American Revolutionary War battle who gave the ultimate sacrifice in World War II. The USS Calpens, hall number CVL-25, also known as the Mighty Moo, was a Independence-class light aircraft carrier that saw extensive service in the Pacific Theater during World War II. A little bit of the ship's history. Uh, the keel was laid originally in 1940 to be a light cruiser, the USS Huntington, hull number CL-77. But after Pearl Harbor, the U.S. Navy realized that they needed more aircraft carriers. So the ship was redesignated as a light aircraft carrier in 1942, and the ship was launched. January 17th, 1943. Um, once the ship was launched and it made its way out to the Pacific Ocean, it was originally with Task Force 14 and, and saw service at Wake Island and the Marshall Islands. In 1944, it was transferred over to Task Force 58. Uh, it saw service at New Guinea and the Marianas Islands. Uh, the ship played a very prominent role during the Battle of Lake Key Gulf in the Surigao Straits. Uh, 1945, the ship supported a Marines off of Iwo Jima and, and Okinawa. Uh, the ship also launched air raids against mainland Japan. The USS Calpens Mighty Moo was one of two light aircraft carriers in Tokyo Bay during the official Japanese surrender. Um, myself, I am a 20-year Navy retiree, so I take great pride in knowing that I get to honor my fallen shipmates who made the ultimate sacrifice during World War II. Lieutenant Commander Robert Price, Air Officer. Lieutenant John Maxey, VF-22. Lieutenant Paul Reeder, VT-22. Lieutenant Robert Ashford, VF-22. Lieutenant Ormond Higgins, VF-22. Lieutenant Billy Loughran, VT-22. Lieutenant J.G. James Bryce, VF-22. Lieutenant J.G. Ted McKay, a Marine a Detachment. Lieutenant J.G. Wilbur Stevens, VF-25. Lieutenant J.G. Damon Bright, VF-46, Lieutenant J.G. Benjamin Farber, VF-25, a Lieutenant J.G. of Frederick Stieglitz, VF-25, Ensign Elvin Arms, VF-25, Ensign Robert Aftonson, VF-50, Ensign Joel E. Bacon, VF-22. Ensign Omer Clark, VF-46. Ensign Kenneth Dye, VF-25. Ensign George Massenburg, VF-25. Ensign Archibald Graham Melwaney, VF-25. Ensign William McGuire, VT-50. Ensign Charles Norton, VF-22. Ensign Paul Parker, VF-25. Ensign Donald Rausch, VF-25. 
Ensign Albert Sanchez, VF-25, Ensign William Stanton, VF-25, Ensign Kenneth Strand, VF-22, Ensign Orson Thomas, VF-25, Ensign A. Cumming, VF-22, Ensign Steve Koraz, VTR-22, Ensign Thomas Gunter, VT-22, Ensign R.J. Papatis, VT-50, Ensign Robert Preston, VTB-22, Aviation Metalsmith Petty Officer First Class William Stevens, VT-22, Aviation Radioman Petty Officer First Class Albert Kurska, VT-22, Aviation Machinist Mate Petty Officer First Class James Maddox, VT-25, Aviation Machinist Mate Petty Officer First Class Clarence Watt, V4 Division. Aviation Ordnance Men, Petty Officer, Second Class, William Stiverson, VT-22. Aviation Radio Men, Petty Officer, Second Class, Tom David, VT-25. Aviation Radio Men, Petty Officer, Second Class, Anthony Limpincell, VT-25. Aviation Radio Men Petty Officer Third Class, Ralph Bridges, VT-22. Aviation Radio Men Petty Officer Third Class, James K. Daniel, VT-50. Aviation Machinist Mate Petty Officer Third Class, Gerald Kuhn, VT-50. Mess Specialist Petty Officer Third Class, John, John P. So Permianano, B Division, Aviation Radio Man Petty Officer, Third Class, Joseph A. Abruzzer, VT-22, Aviation Bosun's Mate Petty Officer, Third Class, Joe Cornwell, V2 Division, Private First Class, Charles Granger, a Marine a Detachment, Private First Class, Curtis Miller, a Marine a Detachment, Seaman First Class, Walter Glenn Daniel, V2 a Division, Seaman First Class, Donald V. Seeley, 4th a Division, Seaman First Class, Leonard Wood, Seaman First Class, Adrian Stimson, Seaman Second Class, John Shoemaker, and Seaman Second class, James Martin. Thank you very much and have a nice day.